What's up everybody and welcome to the RU556 Assault Rifle or the Ruger 556. This is a very anticipated weapon, one I've covered a number of times in my upcoming mod series and we have now just gotten the release of it. There are a number of people working on this more so than I could list on my lower third so I definitely recommend you check out the mod page for this weapon. Regardless, as you can see from the close-ups, this thing is extremely high quality. There was a lot of time and effort put into the textures and the model of this one. This may very well be one of the best looking weapon mods I've ever experienced. This is definitely going to be like the peak and even a great example of how far Fallout 4 modding has come. It was only a few months ago I was talking about the appeal and how awesome it was to have custom animations. Well this one obviously does have custom animations and sound so let's take a listen to those right now. As you can see, those are some pretty top-notch animations. Definitely an amazing job by Haru, as well as the sounds on this one are just really kind of, I don't want to say awe-inspiring, but they just sound so crisp and sharp. The animations are unique. They have their own little touch of flavor in them. It's not as simple as hitting the release and pulling out the magazine. You actually flip the gun to the side and eject it in a little bit more of a fashionable way. The silencer sounds are also extremely satisfying. I feel like the automatic ones with no silencer sound a little bit more visceral, while the silence ones sound a little bit more tame and like something you'd use if you're being very tactical. Tactical. As I did say before, one of the main appeals of Fallout 4 modding a few months ago was this new onset of animations and custom sounds, but today we've moved a little bit past that. The RU-556 has a plethora of different weapon attachments and all of them being extremely high quality. It doesn't show the full modularity of a proper AR system, but that's not really feasible in Fallout 4 just yet. That would be a long project in its own right. What it does have is a number of different stocks, a number of different barrel attachments. You have two different suppressors on this one in addition to the original one just looking very very awesome. And that's really a common theme through all of these attachments. All of them are extremely high quality. Normally you have a little bit of a compromise from the main attachments and then ones that didn't get nearly as much attention. This weapon mod has a ton of attachments and all of them are just as high quality as the next. One area that was explored really in depth is scopes and sights. I didn't actually count how many scopes there are, but I would imagine there's over 10, ranging from ACOG and zoomed in style scopes to red dot sights where you just kind of aim down sights and there's no magnification. I really like their attention to detail here because at the end of the day when you're playing in first person this is what you're going to be seeing 90% of the time is the different scopes you do have on your weapon. Having a wide variety is a great feature and I think it's really going to allow this to be translated to a number of different characters. You can have a very short range weapon or a medium to longer range version of this gun if you want to do that for your character. Maybe you're going into some role play or you just want a different look for the weapon. And speaking of looks there also is a number of different paint jobs you can get all of them looking very cool although this is actually one area I would like to see some more dramatic changes here. Personally I really love the olive one and that one's a little bit different, but maybe just something a bit louder and a bit different. All the different paint jobs felt like they were kind of similar to one another. Now, with all that being said, I think the best way to show you the weapon is actually just to use it and taking on some different enemies. So now over at Spectacle Island, where I normally do my battles, there's actually one thing I forgot to show you guys, and uh, this obviously is being live commentary, but the rest of the video was not, but this actually has some pretty awesome third-person animations. So as you can see, I'm shooting the gun right there, but... Yeah, as you can see, it just looks quite nice. Obviously, my EMV makes it a little bit blurry, but I feel like you get the idea nonetheless. But uh, so we're going to turn things on here and uh, we're going to go try and kill some people. We got, if you've never seen this part before, some brother, not brotherhood. Yeah, no, we do have brotherhood, but we have some enemy gunners as well, which uh, let's see. I'm using the silence version right here. So let's try and mow some of these guys down. This gun also does do some pretty fair damage. I feel like that's something we've been taking for granted a lot in uh, Fallout 4 around this time, but uh, this gun definitely does a good job at that as well. We have some pretty dense fog, but I could still get some decent shots from afar right now I'm getting shot from right there and that's not actually how you want to aim so let's actually shoot this lady and oh I thought she went in but uh, yeah so as you can see again this gun has just some really awesome attachments this is the one I kind of made in that little bit of b-roll towards the end there that I actually put together and uh, we have a uh, EOTech on it well most of my other ones are pretty much the same from the earlier parts of the video let's actually go for another bat shot right here if we can't see if we get anything cool with the gun and uh, we could just mow him down 
I actually do have, whoa, a little bit of a glitch right there. One semi-automatic version, and uh, these do a bit more damage per shot than the, uh, oh, I think I got injured or something. I'm not in a mortal mode. So I'm going to have to pop a stim pack. <laughs> one stim pack later, we are good to go again. Uh, again, this is the one I was using that does have the red dot sight as well as one of those other scopes. As you can see, it doesn't line up quite perfectly, um, which again, is probably something that will be fixed in the near future. I wouldn't swesh, sweat too much about that. You could actually still use the um, the little the red dot there if uh, you want to shoot from third person. It's actually quite helpful in that sense. So uh, that's actually Brotherhood of Steel. Let's, let's kill him to try and make things a little bit more interesting. Because I think a lot of these guys are dying quite quickly. Uh, this is one I kind of tried to kit out as more of a longer range uh, scope. There is another scope that could be viable in this kind of setting. And that's going to be one of the night vision scopes that is available. Uh, would, would be quite good for when shooting from afar. But as you can see, this little red dot actually, again, is quite effective. I, I took the guy out with relative ease there. And I think I'm actually running out of Brother to Steel. So maybe I'm, maybe I'm trying to help the wrong side here. Let's actually kill this guy. And... Uh, Let's see if we can't get a good critical hit with this cool looking version here. And uh, as you can see, we have the pack box on the side right there, which is the laser sight. And then uh, this one also has a flashlight, I believe. So let's shoot him down. And I, I don't know where to aim. Uh, if I should be aiming on the red dot or the uh, center of the scope. I don't actually know what part of it is misaligned. As you can see, my aim isn't too bad regardless. Let's actually switch. I have another broken leg, but I think this one we could tough out. We'll go for some third person shot, or we'll go for some well, uh, non, oh there you go, we'll go for some uh, fully automatic shots this time, no suppressor, no semi-automatic, we'll just mow this guy down. Uh, not, not too effective at this range, because we are a little bit too close, can't really aim down sights, wow that guy actually took a lot. The, the brother is still here, not taking some, ah oh, I broke my legs again, not taking as much, but uh, still only a few guys left, but again, I, I just wanted to show you this in action, I think it's an extremely fun gun to use, like, you know, I cover a lot of weapon mods. I definitely, um, I've seen my fair share of things. And uh, there's some unique weapons, there's some cool weapons, but this gun is, I think, both of those, and maybe not so much on the unique side, it's not stupendously unique. It's, it's unique enough, though. It's pretty cool. It's not, it's not as common as, like, an M4 or an M16, although using a very similar AR platform. But this guy's a ton of fun to use. Like, just all the different weapon attachments. As you can see, I can play totally different. Oh, whoops, I ran out of ammo on this one. I can play totally different with two var or certain variants with certain scopes and certain other attachments than some others um, and again it's just it's really satisfying to use I think this is the one that does have a flashlight yeah you can't really tell too bad right here or too much right here because it is pretty dark and or it's pretty light and it's just a little bit foggy but uh, flashlights don't clear fog and fallout 4 all that well the technology is not there I think there's only one enemy left so we'll finish him off or actually no there's two as you can see, this thing sounds like a laser when you're firing it really quick with the suppressor. And uh, yeah, that's the R or RU556, a very high quality weapon mod. I'm actually out of ammo. That's pretty funny. So at the end there, I ran out of ammo. There's no uh, ammo conversion, only 5.56. But uh, yeah, an extremely high quality weapon mod. Something that I think you guys should be pretty excited for. Download it if you haven't already. At the time of recording this, it's not available on Xbox One, but it will be coming soon. So uh, I would get excited for that. As always, thank you guys again for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.